Well, hello and welcome back to Dark Storm Rising. Very excited at the moment, not just because glorious weather is here. I've uh, been busy outside enjoying myself and I thought I'd better get back inside and actually do some filming for you guys. Um, my Leviathan box has arrived and at the moment my studio is absolutely looking destroyed. There are tyranids everywhere. Um, I've added to my army, so there are the new figures that I've um, bought. Um, I've also bought Leviathan as well, um, so I've got the miniatures all over the place and I'm just, uh, I don't know what to paint first. So I've decided to go with psychic creatures. So I've taken a Neuranthrope to practice on, uh, we're going to have a look at that in a moment. But the thing I wanted to get right is the brain. I wanted to make it look like um, psychic powers were going on, that the brain is actually very active. Um, and not just blobbed in the, the, the same colour as the rest of the army uh, or the rest of the miniature. Um, so I'm going to show you how I've decided to have a look at trying to make that happen. So, only one thing left to say, to the table! Well here we are at the table and Leviathan has just arrived um, yesterday for me. Um, and I've got the big neurotyrant to paint that looks an absolute beast. It looks a beautiful, beautiful figure. Uh, and before I go near it, I want to make sure that my skills are up to the job. And the one thing with the brain bugs is painting the brain cavity uh, accurately. My, my colour scheme is going to be the same. It, um, the colour scheme is going to be the same through my army and so that's not a big deal. But it's making the brain look like it's actually busy casting psychic spells and guiding the hive. So that's what I'm going to try and capture. Um, to do that, I've chosen um, this array of colours. These are sort of the brain colours. This is the indicators of something going on colours. And those are uh, me washies, just in case I actually decide to, to apply them or need them. So for the brain colours, we've gone for fairly standard brainy type colours. Scream Pink by Citadel. Pink Horror by Citadel. Emperor's Children by Citadel. Full Grim Pink by Citadel. And then for the uh, Synapse colours, we've gone for um, Orange Red by Vallejo. Back to Citadel for Imperial Fist, contrast colour. Uh, back to Vallejo for Transparent Yellow. Uh, followed by Sun Yellow. I'm probably going to use quite a bit of white on the there as well, either for a background colour to make the other colours stand out or maybe even just as a pinpoint of focus. So let's have a little look and see how we're getting on. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to paint um, the whole of the brain area in its base colour. So we're going to go for we're going to go for Screamer Pink And we're just going to apply that into the recesses and just gently work our way over the whole of the brain cavity. So I will just do that base coat both sides of the head and then I'll come back to you. So we have the base coat applied to both sides. Um, I've left it to dry a little while. I was not 100% sure. So um, this is now going to be pink horror. I'll get a little bit of pink horror. And we'll mix a little bit of the pink horror with the Emperor's children. Now I wasn't sure whether to try to wet blend um, or whether to um, do separate techniques and slowly transition the colours. But I've decided that I'm going to see how this looks as I apply it. And if it is that it requires some wet blending, then um, we may go back to that. But what I'm going to do is Make sure I haven't got too much paint on and just gently stroke across those 
upper primary surfaces of the brain, avoiding the um, sulcuses, the recesses. And I'm going to go for a more, less, more less obvious, a less obvious um, application of the colour at the borders and a more obvious concentrated colour towards the midsection. And there are like little... Um, neuron strands across the surface of the skull and I'm just blending those in with the rest as we speak. Um, don't want those to stand out just yet. So I'm going to do this to the other side of the skull and now I'm just going over the higher areas and just putting a further application on just to bring the colour through a little bit. push the colour a little bit just on the edges here so what I'm going to do now is leave that to dry a little bit and then I will in the meantime coat the other side and then we'll come back to it for the next coat so we've got the dark pink in the recesses and the brighter pink highlighting the upper surfaces but we need to go a little bit punchier yet. So we're going over to the full grim pink, which has probably seen better days, but um, I, may, I may have to invest in a new one. It's getting a little bit uh, jaded in there. Okay. So I've just popped a little bit onto the palette. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try and concentrate on an area of highlight in the upper portion. Um, and we'll just gently highlight the brain area in this upper section here. So that's going to be where there's a bit of activity going on. There is one of the neurons coming up here as well, which will help with that effect. I think what we'll do is we'll have a little secondary um, area of activity down here. So we'll also just highlight this area. I'm just going back up here. And we'll do that on the other side as well. May put it in slightly different areas, um, just so that it's not you know repetitive, uh, and make it look like he's actually thinking on different synapses are firing off. And um, so we'll, we'll give that a go, um, and then I'll come back to you once I've finished painting this side and let it dry a little bit. Okay, so we've highlighted the brain in full green pink and left it to dry a little bit on both sides. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push the colour. A little bit further and I'm going to use just plain old white from our list of colours from earlier and where the neuron is I'm just going to follow the area of the neuron and I'm actually going to paint the whole of the neuron from the stem all the way through um, Just going to you catch the side of my brush on the neuron, and although I've painted it all pink, I can just make out where the neuron still is running. And the centre of the brain area, where the neuron, where I want the activity, I'm also going to. Get some white in there, even into the sulcuses because the brain is firing off here. And it will make sense in a moment when I go to the next step.
Okay, so I'll do that on the other side of the brain as well, and then come back. Okay, so that's nicely highlighted, but I think the pink is just standing a bit too flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the volupus pink, and in the edges of the brain, I'm just going to add a bit of the volupus pink. Being very careful with my Citadel pot of paint, as ever. And I'm just going to go into the edges of the brain. Oh, that's a bit too much on there. And just give the a little bit more depth and what I will do as well is just pop a little bit of water onto my brush just so that I can bring the colour up onto the brain as well but in a much thinner layer and it just darkens that recess and I may do that for some of the sulcuses as well so I'll do that all over the brain and I'll come back as we head towards the later stages Okay, so now we're on to the stages of trying to make the brain look active. So for that, I'm going to start with um, the orange-red. And it's quite a watery colour, which is to our advantage. Um, and where I want the activity to look like it's taking place... I'm just going to poke the orange just in the areas of activity. Okay, and we'll do that on the other side as well, and then I'll come back. So we've now got the orange applied. I'm now going to, um, I think I'm going to go for the Imperial Fist and try that on. And so what we're going to do is cover the orange and the white in the Imperial Fist. And then just take off any excess where we've gone a bit crazy. Mix a little bit of the two together and just try and blend the edge tones in. And then I'll repeat on the other side and then we'll crack on with the next step. And now for the final section where we try to make it look like there's some activity going on in there. We'll get a little bit of the white. And then we apply it to where the activity is happening.
and just gently just tapping away and building up the layers of the white. And hopefully it's starting to look a little bit like there's a, a thought process going on there that this is the area activity, this is where the part of the mind is conjuring the spell from or giving the command from. And uh, I think that looks quite reasonable. So I'll work on the other side uh, and come back once I've finished both sides. So there's the finished product. Uh, literally the only thing I've got to do now is just finish these pipes off, which I'll probably do in two seconds. Um, but I'm really pleased with the effect on the brain. Um, I hope you think it's uh, a quite a nice effect as well. And especially when you stood back a little from the table, because it's in vibrant colours, that effect's still going to show through. So uh, pretty pleased with that, to be honest. Well, that concludes another video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, next time, hopefully, we'll get inside. Oh my god, it's all gone. Uh, hopefully, we'll get inside the, the box and um, maybe paint some of the miniatures. I might even do step by step each figure and how I went about painting that. Um, if you think that's a good idea, please leave comments below. Um, and if you enjoyed the content and thought it was a good idea, like the, um, the effect on the brain tissue, um, then please do like and subscribe. Um, I'm hopefully going to bring out lots more content for you, diversify a bit into some of the other races again, like I did earlier. Um, only one thing left to say. Are we painting minis yet? Hell yeah! Catch you in the next one.